Good morning. I hope you'll pardon me. I'm a little bit nervous. My name is Charles L. Brown. I'm a Lieutenant Colonel of the U.S. Air Force, retired, subsequently seven years with the Foreign Service. I like the name Charlie Brown, a gentleman by the name of Charles Schultz, of great talent, sort of uh, elevated the name, if you will. Uh, during World War II, I was a young farm boy from West Virginia. I got the patriotic bug, joined the United States Army, ended up flying bombers in Europe, and ended the war transport in the Pacific. Finished college in the summer, late summer of 49, recalled to active duty in the newly formed United States Air Force. I was assigned to an organization called Office of Special Investigations. The Air Force, as most of you know, was formed in 1947. OSI, as a central investigative agency for the Air Force, was formed, I think, in 1948. So everything was relatively new. Needless to say, starting in 47, UFOs were rather new. The Air Force Intelligence, or Air Technical Intelligence Center, was at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and I had my office in a building adjacent to it. And our organization was the worldwide investigative agency for the Air Force for any unidentified flying objects. This lasted for about two years. The project name was known as Project Grudge. It was the predecessor to a project known as Blue Book, which Ed Rupelt headed. During my experience with it, I would collect the data from, I didn't collect it, it was sent into my office. I analyzed it. As a pilot investigator, I was able to offer some bits of advice to the air technical intelligence people. Now, you might visualize a massive office, but as I recall, we had a first lieutenant, uh, a secretary, and a technical sergeant. That was the essence of Project Blue Book when it started, or Project Grudge Blue Book, and expanded somewhat. During the review as an analyst of these various documentary reports, if you will, or documents, I became clearly convinced that there was substance to what was being reported, in that we had ground visual, ground radar, airborne visual, and airborne radar confirmation of some of these sightings. The individuals who made the sightings were everything from airline pilots, military pilots, police officers, some of the people that your lives depend upon on a daily basis. These are very reputable and credible people. I hope that the testimony here from very credible people will convince you of that and will further Steve Greer's disclosure project in that pressure needs to be brought to bring this to the attention, not only of the Americans, but of people all over the planet. These vehicles have been seen and confirmed all over the planet. I am willing to sign a sworn statement or testify to my judgment and to what I have observed. Such things do exist. Please believe me. Please believe the, those to follow me. Thank you.